going on. This is my little This is my little station right here. Fire got a little bit too hot right there. <laughs> Bucket of water. Look, there's another secret. This is a uh, telephone pole wood. Uh, the stuff like it burns really fucking nice. So if you ever find a broken one, go ahead and grab yourself a chunk. Throw it in your backyard. But yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot to uh, set up shop for. And look, I'm not cooking meth. I'm not cooking meth. Uh, I'm making some primitive freaking cro magnet. Uh, what is that called? Uh, Kennewick Man. Is that what that's called? The Kennewick Man. Uh, type uh, experiments. It, look, turned out wonderful, man. Cost a lot of wood, though. But, I mean, look, it doesn't work that great. But I wasn't going for perfection. I just wanted to figure it out so I could do it again if I had to. Like I said, it'd probably take two hours to cut through that with this thing. And I don't know how long it's going to stay durable, but this fricker is pretty freaking solid. Look. Look, I still got... Still got that sticky all over my hands. Yeah, man. You gotta think. If you was one of them back in the day, man, you didn't have no freaking paint thinner, like, handy, so. You're gonna get shit on your hands. Fire's still going a little bit. Still going a little bit. It's freaking, uh, just gotta be careful. Yeah, that's another thing I'd say if you uh, ever experiment with uh, trying to make some uh, Stone Age adhesive. Uh, it tends to freaking like, it'll catch on fire real easy. And then when it does, it also shoots and snaps and sparks. And it'll get stuck on you and that doesn't feel very good. Uh, this stuff right here. Once this stuff gets going... So it's actually also kind of like, as well as an adhesive, it's, no, actually, I think there's, it's got medical uses, you can make freaking, you can make stuff out of it, sugary stuff out of it, uh, but you got, there's processes, different processes, I just was trying to use it for this, so it's basically just melt it, and then, like, take some of this, this right here that up good like that and no it's not voodoo man yeah no, I know I I'm pretty sure that's what they make freaking glue and and plastics and shit out of basically is ashes and ground up stuff and glue and then you press it together and cook it sometimes or sometimes if you find the right stuff It'll just bind instantly, man. Like, uh, what is that stuff called, man? Can't freaking remember. But it's like putty. Like, you mix two things together, two tubes together, and then that stuff sticks, whatever you put it on. Uh, it's kind of like that. And this stuff, you just go, you gotta just find it on trees. Good luck. With finding it on some trees. It's like a treasure hunt. Same thing, yeah. This whole thing was kind of like a freaking treasure hunt. And each thing alone is just basically junk and garbage. But when you add them all together, they become, you know, a technique, a skill, a trade, a craft. Uh, you know what I mean? Just so you know. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I tell you the truth, you know, none of this stuff. It, it, shit. Sap, wood, dirt, water, air, freaking fire. Uh, this stuff is... Uh, life just wouldn't be life without it all. 
and kind of put together in that same kind of way. Each thing alone, man, doesn't, uh, without the, you know, how they all work together, each thing would just kind of lose its freaking, its value, its true value, you know what I mean? Like, you know, in the, in the desert, uh, you know, uh, you're not going to want a big fire in the desert in the daytime, uh, nor are you going to need to splash yourself with a bucket of water when you're uh, stranded in the middle of the lake. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that, <laughs> that bucket of water will do you no good in the middle of a lake. See, even with this, see that? There's vibes. That's a vibration. You can see it. Look, you can make some ancient technology right here, too. Look, just that right there. Find a floater. Let's see. Uh, eh, it floats. that primitive like but it's kind of like common sense is like the new genius so you know like this is like uh the new macgyver isn't whoa spurred this shit right there see it's good it landed on the ground that's good for the ground it's not good for my shirt is that him that motherfucker just came and dropped a baguette. On my, I almost dropped a baguette on my freaking head. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, it's a conspiracy.